respectable at least. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh well, we don't need the box anyway. Let's just open the box up. Oh, we're going to get in the light. Let's go. Here we go. Go down. Owner's manuals. I know I'm familiar with that stuff there. Let's just get all this out. There's our floor. These are the wheels, aren't they? These are actually cool. These are a must have if you get this boat. Sweet. Like the red. Nice for a change. All right, we'll quickly get this set up. So we'll have a quick chat about what's going down and yeah and we'll get these letters stuck on so we're legal out on the water and i guess we'll be good to go for a little while let's do it all aluminium transom now that's cool that is very cool it's a tape Essential. Ooh. So get these lined up like that. And just slot them in over these bolts. And then we pop it down. It's one on. Easy. They really are awesome actually. Yeah, gonna have to unscrew a bit more. Oh wait, that one's on. There we go. Just make sure she's lined up. Which she most definitely is not at the moment. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Could just be like, just a tap over that way, just a little bit. There we go. I think we're just about perfect now. And we might just join these two together so they can't unwind, and we're good to go. Ooh, that engine looks quite big on that one. It looks good. Ah, I like the red. Looks pretty slick. <laughs> Fast. Red for speed. Oh, here's the big test. Yeah, no, that looks fine. Yeah. No, it wheels very nicely, even with the engine on and the fuel tank in. No. Ah. 
That's awesome. Yeah, for the record, this is not the new boat uh, that we were talking about when we got rid of the other boat. So um, what's happened is I was like, we've basically, we've got the boat, it's on a container, it's on the way over here. The problem is that could take up to another like nine weeks to get over here. So uh, I'm just trying to be patient at the moment. Uh, but luckily, um, the guys at True Kit obviously saw that I'd got rid of the other boat uh, in between all of this and they've sort of come, and well they could they knew it was coming and they were said well why don't we revisit the 330 so well that's what we've done we had this little grey boat in the beginning the one we first started with and with the True Kit range and it was the 330 Discovery so we've gone back to the 330 but we've gone red this time just for a bit of a point of difference so basically the 3.3 meter version of the 4 meter one that I have just got rid of uh once again we're going with a gum tree oh no this was facebook marketplace i think this motor so we've um we've managed to find a pretty reasonable condition um second hand motor every other motor i've used was taihatsu these ones this one's a mercury not so different really but um hopefully it gives me a good run you know what i mean gave it a good checking over inside it looks um very well looked after 2013 model so relatively new um this one's the us mercury you'll see it's got the actual um tiller controls all the controls like ford and reverse are actually on the tiller cool in one respect i was really excited about that but the more i looked at it i was like oh hang on so now i've got to adjust the idle because it, you can't really idle it or rev it out when it's in idle i'd like to just be able to give it a little bit of a rev put a few revs on just to keep it running um but that sort of cancels that out because to put on put the revs on means it's going into gear with this particular engine so yeah i think this little boat's going to do a really good job it's this nice in between sort of size not so big that i can't sort of pack it down and you know stow it in the garage or chuck it on the top of a car on some roof racks or there's options with this one that the bigger boat sort of couldn't do but i think uh it's a nice in between because once the bigger boat gets here obviously that'll be on a trailer we'll do other bigger further out trips on that and it'll open up some new ground but this little boat is like this perfect in between size in between the kayak and this is just going to be really fun to whip around on because i think it's going to be quite zippy and we'll just blast through some waves and things like that so it's going to be a fun boat to have and the kids sort of i think dash will enjoy having a learning boats on it as well so yeah and fox is getting into it as well he was he was mad driving the tender around actually the other day we actually actually managed to go sailing on the sailboat uh in between lying down with back pain anyway i guess we'd better put these vinyl lettering on and we'll yeah take it for a test run over the next day or two 20 q that's our new number what's our force set out six and eight that should be about right should we do it we'll do it Beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but we've got all our lettering cut on there. What? This is 15. What's that? Yeah, no, 15. The tinny rats? Which tinny rat? Well, 15's a pretty common engine size, yeah, for sure. The 18? Yeah. No, well, I should have just kept the 18 I had then in that case, wouldn't I? Yeah. Why did you not? Because I wanted to sell the whole boat as a package. What does that say? Well, you tell me. What are those letters? Come on, Mr. I'm learning to read. Smash them out. Say, say them out loud so people can hear. The yeah? Ch what? Yeah, well they're the sounds, aren't they? What uh, letters are they? B G W. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? No, nice. I don't know what that's. No, well, you totally got it. Alright, there's the second one done. <laughs> now that we've actually remembered that we need to put regular numbers on both sides. Get the old heat press gun. So here's the trick, and there's a bit of advice on this. Whether I'd ever recommend doing it this way to anyone, I don't know. Um, 
So we'll go to the temperature, it's set at 120. Um, this heat transfer vinyl typically likes to be set at about 150, but I go 100 because what I've found is, and we'll do a test, but what I've found is this vinyl material really doesn't like getting heated above 100, okay? So, and uh, the very first boat I did this to, it did get a very, very, very slight bulging under the lettering. So what I like to do is take a bit of pressure out of here. Okay, so it's still firm enough that I can apply a bit of pressure on to heat it, set it. But not so much pressure. Okay, so that's bipped. So that's reached 100 and 20 seconds look we'll leave the timing but we don't really care about that we'll just do that by feel and look but what i've done previously is try and heat this and i'll test the red because i haven't done the red before but we'll just try and press a bit on and we'll see what happens and see if we can get the timing right because we don't want to heat this up so much that it gets flexible and then it boulders out with the pressure because we'll have lovely letters stuck on there but we'll also have a bulging plastic boat so yeah that's what we've got to be aware of just run it a little higher just up here and then we'll run it sort of in line with the yellow at the top so i do it in two segments it's peeling up a lot which is annoying normally it sticks down a little bit better but it won't be peeling once we do this <laughs> Seems to have stuck. Oh, that up the top of the W hasn't. <laughs> Let's do that one just a little bit more. Hopefully, we get the same result we have played previously. Okay, see if we can line that up. It looks pretty good. Good enough. Okay, now just check, see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, it looks like it needs a little bit more. Okay, so there's our result. Not too bad. You can see actually a little bit of a, I fried it a little bit here and on this edge, you can see it's um, flattened out a bit. Didn't really bulge at all, which is good, which is the main concern. But you can tell that I've, um, you know, I've definitely affected the plastic a little bit on the surface which is not good so a lot of people this is definitely one of those um topics i've been asked heaps of times uh because anyone that's had an inflatable boat knows that it's really really hard to find any kind of well, one you can't find vinyl lettering that sticks to it you can use stencils you can use like hanging bits of plastic that people put in and they all look pretty sketchy and dodgy none of them look that great so the result of mine is great but please if you do do it proceed with a lot of caution because you can see even with the proper heat press with the proper temperature readings you can still get it a little over you know what I mean? because you're kind of just winging it because you're just just trying to find that happy point where the glue starts to set but as soon as you go just that tiny little bit over you're basically melting your boat so please if you do decide to do it yeah like i don't i'll just put it out there and say i don't even recommend to do it this way like i've obviously had a lot of practice on t-shirts and other materials before and on three boats now and i've managed to get it to work but if you do decide to do it please 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 be very very careful because it's definitely a risk involved in <laughs> in damage but i think it looks good it looks a hell of a lot better when you when you see it it does look a hell of a lot better than just about every other option so pretty cool oh the type of vinyl it's called um sizer easy weed or sizer s-i-double-s-e-r i think it is um but it's also it's basically like heat press t-shirt vinyl um so you can it's all those t-shirts that i wear i actually don't buy them off my own merch shelf i actually make them at home with that vinyl cutter anyway uh, i guess it's the next part of this video will be out on the water so let's go and hit the water um, I might even just walk it down tomorrow morning or we'll decide between kayak and depending on which video goes up first you'll see this part but yeah we're looking good
Yeah, we might just bring her over here. Gives a chance to muck around with the engine, learn its uh, quirks. Every new outboard, you got to learn its little uh, character, <laughs> and they all have something going. <laughs> Everything seems above board. Let's get this down. Give it a pump. It's fine. Now, push to prime, pump to prime, pull to prime. Okay, pull it out. Okay, so I guess we just go for it. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, maybe I needed to push that in. There you go. Let's try it again. Okay, so I found that if you give it just a little bit of... You keep this plug just a little bit out. It seems to be idling faster now. Now if I push it in, hopefully it's heated up enough. Probably hasn't been run for a long time either, apart from the very quick go I had. Yep, so it's in gear. Sweet, okay. Well, that works. <laughs> So I know this is a bit boring, but I just want to make sure uh, before I get too far away from the, uh, <laughs> the shore that we do work, we actually do go properly. <laughs> well, let's try a little bit more. Should be able to get at least on the plane here, getting out to some markers. Let's get past this last boat. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> we'll have to get the nose down. There we go. Whoa, the nose is still up. <laughs> but we're going, and fast actually. <laughs> I need to get an esky or something in the front. Rocket, rocket. Well, you know what we should try? We should try reverse. <laughs> okay, so that's neutral. You can feel click in, which is a little bit free on there, but. Closer, back into gear. Oh, she's clicks into gear nice and smooth, that's for sure. Feels pretty solid actually. It certainly doesn't feel like she's missing a beat in any way. No one, nothing unusual, no unusual sounds, no struggling, no labouring. Feels good, sounds good. But what we'll do when we're nice and close to shore is we'll press the well let's try the kill switch. Alright, that way. Yeah, sweet. No, that is cool. Like, it is actually cool, having all the controls in the little stick there. Probably not as necessary as, like, in my mind, I was like, oh, this is going to be game changer. But there is, it is good, but there is a couple of uh, issues or quirks that you got to get used to. I wonder if I just idle down now to save some petty. How low is it going to go? So that's right down the bottom there. And she's fine. So once it's heated up, I guess you can just adjust it right down, get that idle right down, which is actually a good thing. So, well, we're on the water. We're back. We're back on the water in some form. Um, so this obviously isn't the big boat that we've been talking about coming, but it looks like it's going to be a while. The trailer has had a little bit of a hold up, so we're going to be 
Uh, let's just, maybe we just kill this for a sec. It's great that the guys from True Kid sent this one out to me. It was definitely not meant to make an appearance quite just yet, but we're gonna need to have it up in action because we're gonna need to keep make, making videos and get out on the water. Let's start her up, we'll go for a burn. We'll see if we can get the phone out, get a rough idea of how quick she goes. Starts beautifully. First pull, once she's warmed up. Just gotta get that confidence before I take her 40 k's off <laughs> offshore. I want to know that she's going to start every time. So far, so good, though. All right, bang her into gear just by turning the knob. That's cool. No, I can see the dream. Okay, let's get up on the plane and go. Eight k's an hour then at its best I think before it dropped off again it's not too bad could have do a little bit of a prop adjustment all right let's go find some squiddies and we'll talk more oh yeah we're just coasting along beauty I reckon with a bit of mucking around we could get 40 easy So about heading out. <laughs> I wonder where he's gone. Jealous, just a little bit jealous. seen any hints of a squid but he's enjoying being out on the boat <laughs> there's big schools of yakas here amongst other things every now and then a big splash comes in and hits them <laughs> oh, what's that some slightly bigger things what are they just can't quite get a look at them no this engine's turning out pretty good though Start seems very reliable so far. As soon as I want it to go, it goes. That's good. Ah, oh, look, you can see all the yakas. There are the yakas. It's obviously what's hitting the surface as well. Okay, let's go get my anchor. Maybe one of those trims, perma trim things. Might keep the nose down a bit as well. She goes alright though.
we might pull up on this side. Still in one piece, which is good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, that would come in handy as well, but better leave that in here. We'll have to get, I've got another one at home. There we go. Just the mini anchor set up, but it'll be perfect for what I want it for. Oh, hello guys. Look at this one's We're clearly used to getting fed. <laughs> this bread actually almost matches that one. Oh, here we go. This will be a good test. See if the rest works. was very fun and uh i think um yeah hang on let's uh oh well the current's going now we'll just get out here a bit well i guess that sort of does that's the testing stage over so i guess next next trip will be uh something a bit more uh adventurous but no that's it's very cool it's, it's pretty quick and fun to ride as well so for, for such a small little boat it actually goes pretty quick be interesting to see how much petrol we used but uh, yeah, we should get a gauge, or I think just a bigger fuel tank in general might be good. But, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next video, and check out this sailboat here. That looks like a sleek one, doesn't it? Not bad. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one, and uh, hopefully some fish. Alright, <laughs> see ya.